Hey, what's up, everyone? Known as Geeks. I'm going to show you how to make backup copies of your CDs, DVDs, and disks drive, or disk CDs, into uh, into an ISO as a backup. For example, if you don't want to look for your CDs or whatever, you don't want to feel like getting up and looking for your CDs, DVDs, or Blu-rays um, for some type of software or movies or whatever. Um, Go ahead and download the software. It's in the comments. Uh, it's in the description link below. <clears throat> Once you have downloaded it, install it. Go ahead and run it. Uh, it's it's the program. By the way, is called Burn Away Free. So I'm gonna click on Burn Away Free. And there's other versions of it, but Burn Away Free is what exactly what we need. So as you can see, it has data disk, Blu-ray disk, boot disk, custom disk, audio CD, MP3, DVD, burn image, copy to image, make ISO, make boot ISO, erase disk, disk info, and verify disk. So what we need to do is copy to image. Scanning drives. Now I'm going to put in a disk into the drive. And I'm going to use... Um, a CD called Dynex, which is for my NIC. Uh, NIC is Network Interface Controller, which is um, how you receive a high speed internet. Scan drives, please wait. And uh, found the information on it. So we want to go ahead and click on Browse. And uh, I'm going to click on Desktop, which is already on Desktop. And I'm going to call it D Y N E X O E M Driver. Driver disk. I'm gonna hit save, and then copy, which will copy. It, it shouldn't take too long, depending on what you're using. It's either a CD, a DVD, or a Blu-ray disk. Um, each disk has its own speed, and as well as your optical drive, which is your CD drive, has its own speeds as well. It could go up to times 32, 64 speed. And uh, I believe right now it's going about 16 speed times 16 because that's the fastest the disk supports. And as you can see, it's pretty much finished. So how do we check it to see if it's working? Well, let's close this. Let's close that. Let's go to my computer. And we'll see two disks. Actually, we'll see one because I haven't mounted the disk. So over here is your Dynex OEM driver disk ISO. Right click, properties and then uh, look under uh, type of file and it says ISO and I have it set to open with virtual clone drive which is as it says a clone drive it's uh, it's a virtual drive pretty much so it, it acts like a regular drive so you can mount DVDs, Blu-rays, um, whatever whatever CD so this is my Blu-ray drive uh, my Blu-ray drive this is my uh, virtual drive and this is my actual optical drive right here so let's go ahead and double click on it it should come up right here and uh, choose to do what happened to the disk is for Windows 8 that's why it's popping up and as you see it pops up see oh you're saying that oh it could be the CD okay well let's eject the CD then I don't know if you heard it but I eject the C uh, disk I'm gonna close it and then let's do it again. It's like, oh well, it could still be in the drive. For those of you who do that did not understand what virtual drive is, so what I'm going to do is unmount it. Virtual clone drive, unmount. And there's nothing in there. There's no, there's nothing here. There's nothing there. So I'm going to redo it. Double click. It's going to pop up right here because it's a ISO file. ISO is. Uh, uh, it's a container that contains your your programs and stuff like that. I'm going to double click on it again. And as you can see, it's right here. I already have the driver already installed. But just to show you that it works. Yes. Next. And it's finished. And then I'm going to show you that the driver has been installed. <clears throat> Dynex DXE102 10 100 megabyte network adapter. You're saying, why are you using that one and how come you're not using the gigabit one? Well, the gigabit has issues. 
I got it from MSI. Yes, dude, don't ever get MSI products. They're garbage. I've had so many problems before. Uh, you know, they sent me an R RMA uh, motherboard, and that motherboard had its seat heat sink not glued on correctly. It wasn't screwed in on right. Uh, uh, some of the pieces, like uh, some weird-looking capacitors, like they're solid... They're square. They look um, kind of like a marble type looking thing with a like a darkish grayish type looking color. Um, it was chipped. I'm like, what the heck? I looked on top. There was another piece like it was it was missing. And I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I told them, and they says, oh, I'm sorry. We didn't should have sent you like that. I feel embarrassed. So I sent it back, and it took me almost two months to get the actual board that I need. I was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Don't ever get MSI boards. They they really suck. They don't know what they're doing. They really don't. Get, like, Asus or Gigabit or, like, Biostar or something. Just look it up. Look up, uh, see what um, what it has to offer, what the reviews are, what you want for it, and so and so. Well, anyways, guys, uh, that's that's it. Sorry to blab on. Um, if you guys have any comments, leave a comment. Don't forget to like the video. You can subscribe if you like. That will be awesome. But I'm not going to force you to subscribe anything. But what I really want you to do is like the video. So I can continue making good videos like this. Uh, if you guys have any issues with your computers and some people on YouTube don't explain it correctly, um, just let me know what your issue is. And I can make that video and upload it or make it. That way you could understand it. And if you can't understand it, I'll make an even one better than that. I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to uh, expand your knowledge of the computer world. Because computer world is getting a lot bigger. And the future is computers. Again, this is Known as Geeks. Thanks for watching, guys. And do not forget to hit that like button. Peace! Giggity.